Hi friends, welcome back to Global Hub TV. Tribunal validates Ihe Dioha's victory. That's the electoral tribunal. The action alias AA says the victory of Governor Emeka Ihe Dioha of Imo State at the Imo Governorship Elections Petitions Tribunal affirms the governor's election. The party also congratulated People's Democratic Party, PDP, in a statement issued by Mr. James Vanimbe, the National Secretary of the party. If you're just joining in, can you take a moment to tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell below? It is free. Tap on it so you will be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Action Alliance across Nigeria and beyond congratulate you on your well-deserved victory at the Imo Governorship Election Petition Tribunal which affirmed your election as a duly elected governor of Imo State. In their words, they said, our great party is indeed satisfied with the judgment and we congratulate you and urge you to continue with the good works in Imo State. News Agency of Nigeria, NAN, recalls that the tribunal on September 21st dismissed all three petitions challenging the state's governorship election where Ihe Dioha emerged as the winner. The petitioners challenged the emergence of the PDP candidate as the winner of the March 9th governorship election on the grounds that the election was married with irregularities. However, the tribunal held that candidate of the Action Alliance, Uche Nwonsu, Infai Ararume, of the All Progressive Grand Alliance and Senator Ope Uzodima of the All Progressive Congress failed to establish their petitions against Ihe Dioha. As you know, Rocha Sokorocha was about to become a godfather in the most state. He wanted to impose his son in law, and unfortunately, that's Uche Nwosu. Uche Nwosu is a Nigerian politician, formerly Deputy Chief of Staff. To the Imo state government from 2011 to 2013. Uh, he was a commissioner for land from 2013 to 2015 and um, up to 2015 he was recently the chief of staff from 2015 sorry and he's aged 44 years old. He was to be imposed on the on the citizens in Imo and unfortunately that did not happen. He was actually pushed out he made sure that he got the position, he got that seat. And recently, there have been a lot of tribulations and trials. Well, some might actually say is trying to cleanse Imo State by getting back the loot that the former administration under Rochas has stolen. But of course, the people that surrounded his administration, even his own family members, were investigated. The recovery team went into their houses and some of the facilities and properties that they had and they took some of the automobiles and seized a lot of money and cars properties from them these are supposed to be the properties and loot that they took stole during during the past administration so what's your take about this the three-man tribunal held that the petitioners have failed to discharge the burden of proof placed on them by the law their petitions were liable to be dismissed earlier the action alliance party on september 7 during a special convention withdrew the party's name from the election tribunal saying it was for the overall interest of the party and the state so are you from imo state do you think Ihedio is actually performing or is only only cloud chasing or maybe is only making use of the authority he has to oppose to him to oppress the former administration let us be that in the comment section below and while you're there may i remind you to kindly tap on that subscription button if you have not done so and also the red notification icon bell tap on it so you'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded thanks for stopping by